Hey guys, Matt here, and today I'm coming at you with a new vehicle I've made, a Lego Wrecker, or tow truck, or recovery truck, or whatever you want to call it. And it took a few weeks to build. It's based, it was originally supposed to be the tanker truck from the Lego City Line, the 60016 I believe. However, I was going to modify that, and then all of a sudden it just kind of turned into this. And really the only part of that set that's included is part of the roof, part of this, and the smokestack. Nothing else is original. So again, it took a while to create. Uh, it was a lot of fun to build. And let's take a look at the actual model now. So we're going to start off with the front. And the front is perhaps my favorite part. You've got the sort of split grill here. You've got that little break in between it. Uh, I really like that. I They included that on the set, and I decided to modify it a little bit, but I, I think it's my favorite part of the truck. Uh, again, you got the gray grill, and then you got the dark gray bumper, which continues into like the dark gray lower half of the whole model. And you've got the side view mirrors up here. And the front's pretty simple, you know. You got a staircase here for a little added detail. Nothing special but the cab itself on the interior, just a steering wheel and a driver's seat. I did do the door with the little handle here. I didn't use a, an actual door. And I kind of prefer this because it allows me to work with the colors more. And then I did the single stud wide front tire that I've been doing on a lot of designs. And then up on top, another one of my favorite elements is the uh, light bar up here. I've got the orange caution warning lights. I've got horns that match their uh, light bluish gray binoculars. And I think that came out really well and I like that. Then I just added a little uh, octane sticker as a little detail. And if you can see on the whole model, uh, the red and green stripe that goes around it continues with that sort of octane theme. And I believe that's how you pronounce it. And the smokestacks are from the original set. And then moving on to the sort of the side of the truck. You've got the roll-up doors on both sides, and this repeats. The the truck is pretty symmetrical. And then you've got two little sort of storage doors here, and this can be all used theoretically for steal it, uh, storing a uh, certain amount of equipment that you want. Uh, none of these actually function just because it's so compact that there really wasn't room for a functioning element. Maybe in the future I'll try making them work, but for now I'm just going to keep it the way it is. And again, you've got the stripes and the dark gray pattern, and then you've got the different sort of sizes and sloping elements that a lot of recovery trucks have. I've got the three back tires. Some have some trucks have two, others have three. I decided to go with three here. And they use the, the regular Lego wheels as if they were dual tires on each. And I really like that it sort of gives the truck a strong, aggressive looking stance that I think really, really works for this. And then again, it repeats on the other side. And then of course on the back, you've got the, I got I added these little caution stickers or chevrons, whatever you wish to call them, just so that vehicle's following behind. Uh, notice sort of stay back. You got the two tail lights. You got the wheel lift, which actually functions. And then of course, I have to show you guys the actual uh, boom or arm or whatever you want to call it. Uh, if there's a technical term for it, feel free to point it out in the comments. Everything functions on this truck in terms of the uh, the towing equipment. So I'm going to turn it on its side for a second. Hopefully that stays. So if you can see there, there's a winch uh, with the cable wrapped around it, and that runs up the uh, the arm here, and then it goes into a, sort of a tow hitch or a hook on the back. So what happens is, if I'm going to position it like that, the arm extends, and the winch along with it, and I did this little stabilizer or arm here to help it stay up. So it'll lift like that. And this will extend out to the full capacity of this sort of uh, lift arm here. Uh, this is actually extremely strong. I tested it on all the models that I built so far and it held them up. In fact, I used the, uh, the LEGO City Miners dump truck, the big one. And it held that for a certain amount of time until it actually sort of snapped the arm. It didn't break the brick, but it did sort of break them apart from each other. So that's about the maximum capacity of the whole truck. And then, of course, the uh, the wheel lift will drop down. And I might modify this later. I'm not totally satisfied with that. Uh, however, it does hold vehicles pretty well, like my 
the blue truck that I made in an earlier video, which I'll link in the comments below, will be supported by that. And then of course, slides back together. You can roll up everything. Lift that up. Drop that down. And there you have it. That is the uh, recovery truck. It's probably my favorite model that I've built so far. It, it, took, it took a while to make in terms of just designing and ordering parts. I didn't really intend to make it. In fact, the bulk of the work got done in one night. Uh, but this is the final product and I'm really satisfied with it and I'm probably going to keep it around for a really long time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys enjoy the model of course. Feel free to leave any comments in the comments section below. Remember to like the video. Likes really help us reach out to new audiences. That's why I encourage it so often. And of course feel free to subscribe to the channel. And tune in next week, hopefully around Tuesday, for a new contest we're holding. And I hope a lot of you can join that. And I hope you guys check out the new video. Thanks for watching guys.